I said I didn't see any money. Did you see any money? Meaning what? Meaning what? What money now? What money are you talking about? The money I took in this whole guy. I said I didn't take any money. Meaning that money developed less. I don't know what you're talking. I only went there to to, to take that pan. I what? didn't see any money. Did you see any money? Yes, sir. I didn't see any money. Uh, what is happening here? Chief, this boy is a thief. He's a criminal. The money gave me to send those people. I brought the money today. Send the accident man to go to the store and get me a file. And he knows where I keep the money. Now he, he, I'm looking for the money. I beg your pardon. Which money is missing? But the hundred thousand naira I gave you this morning is missing. Ask this criminal. He knows where it is. I've, I've not seen any money, sir. I've not seen any money. I don't know what. Mr. Kubeza, where is my money? Mr. Man, bring the money. Ask your man, please. If you know where you kept this money, you go and give me the money now. Eh? My friend, what is your name? My name is Tony. So where did you keep my money? So I will deal with you. I swear to God, I didn't take any money. Didn't take any money. I, I didn't take any money. You don't know. You're a criminal. You're a <laughs> you should have taken them right on the track, you know. No. Why? Pass is bad. Too much space for them to run and scream. Okay. Let's allow them go into that dark zone. Why? There could be other people out here already. You don't think so? I don't think so. Nothing stops the show tonight. Those guys have given us so much tough time. Now go. Resist. Show them your hospitality. I remain flat on the ground. Now! Please, we won't disturb Bruno. you, please. What's up? They can't be here. Let them get out of here, mind their business. What are you doing? No. Please, please, let's, let's go. We wouldn't mind going. We won't disturb you, honestly. No, we won't not disturb you, please. Mind your business by calling the security and alerting the entire school? Don't do that. No way. Close your eyes! I remain flat on the ground. Now! Hey, yo. 
said you have malaria. Have you taken any medication? Yes, Dad. And how is it? I'm getting better, Dad. It's okay. Welcome. Daddy. Yes, please. My germ result is out. Oh, that's splendid. Let me see the result. What 
what am I saying? Is this the whole result or are they going to send another one to add to this? Daddy, that's the whole result. Nothing more. 103. Just 103 in jam. Tell me, which school is going to give you admission with this kind of result? Huh? Upon the money I spent for Tony to assist you pass these exams. You made only 103. Daddy, I don't know what happened. But I think Tony did not teach me the right thing. Let me get something straight. <laughs> Does this mean you failed? <laughs> hmm? Conspiracy. This is pure conspiracy. But it won't work for them. My son must go to the university and he must be a doctor. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Hello. Uh, hi. hi. Where have you been all this while? You know, my friends and I were beginning to wonder if you guys are really in this campus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How would you think that? <laughs> For two weeks now, I've not set my eyes on you, neither my friends. You travel? Well, not precisely. It's just that, you know, the exams are by the corner and um, I'm probably somewhere in the hostel reading and studying. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. Oh, sorry, I didn't get the chance to thank you enough. Yes, thank you very much. You know, it was so horrible. I would have even been worse if you, ha if you hadn't put up, you know, such a bravery act. Yeah. It's nothing really. It's, well, I just did what I had to do. What if you guys were my sisters? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think I'm your sister now. So, what's your name? I thought I told you the other day at the police station. Well, my name is Tony. Tony. All right, Tony, how is your wound now? <laughs> it's not as bad as we thought. <laughs> Since I spent so much in getting it treated, that's all. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry that you went through all these pains and risk. I would like to pay you for what you spent treating me. I beg your pardon? It's okay. No, no, no. You've already paid back by expressing your gratitude. That's okay for me. But you are a student and I believe you need money. <laughs> Look who's talking and you are what? Huh? Chairman of Silver Bank? I know. You know what Stephanie, I have a quiz to attend right now. And I'm 10 minutes behind schedule. Um, why? How do I get to see you again? I'm glad you asked. My friends would like to see you and thank you too. 
Let me give you my address. Here, that's my address. Okay. This is not a hostel address, this is off campus. Yeah, after the incident, my parents insisted I should move to my uncle's guest house. So. Alright then, I'll pay you a visit one of these days. Take care of yourself. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Bye. Sir, please. Please help me. See, all I need, all, I, all you need is to make efforts to pay the fees. Tony, I have hurt you enough. And what else do you want from me? Sir, please help me more. Please, I'm begging you. you. You know if I miss this quiz, I'll have carryover. And that means my grades will automatically drop. I'm begging you, please. Sorry. Just give me, give me till the end of this month. Sorry, I can't help you. The last time I allowed you, they deducted my salary. And I ignored it because of how close we are in this department. Sir, please consider me. You know my mother's pretty good. Enough of that family poverty syndrome story. Tony, I have helped you so much. And I need my salary this month. Good day. Sir, sir, sir. Mr. Chukuma. the campus that the friends of the court rapists were accosted are out for retaliation. Is that why you're carrying this big cutlass? They are demanding for 80,000 naira damages. What? And the release of their friends in the cell. Over my dead body. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> that is why I'm carrying this match for protection in case of any emergency. Please find some place and keep this cutlass. It's like you want to butcher a cow. Listen, Johnny, please, you have to help me out here, okay? Mm. I'm in deep trouble. I need 5,000 naira loan from you. Please. Tony, why do why, why they talk like this now? You must say, me, are they broke too? Mm. Huh? Johnny, please, I'm begging you. If, if I don't get that money now, honestly, it will affect my grades. My grades will drop. Tony, you know, if I have this money, I will give it to you. We live together and you know me better than any other person. Oh God, I'm finished. I'm sunk. What about the person you sent to your uncle? What did he say? I don't know. My uncle told him to tell me that I should come by the end of the month. The end of the month is too far for crying out loud. And I just don't know. This is so Sorry. frustrating. Ah, I beg, no finish, I'm I never, I never took you up, I beg. Never shop. Sure. You don't get money, but you, you, you finish up sardine. My partner, I'm going to kill you. Stephanie, hi. Hi. I got your message to meet you up here. Sir, what's up? 
You don't look relaxed. What's the problem? It's about those two rapists. Their friends are threatening my friend and I. Yeah, so Johnny told me. Tony, I want this to end. So do I. Why don't we just go to the police and make a report? Look, Tony, we are not fighting just a crime, but a system, an evil one at that. At least we know we're fighting something illegal. For how long? I mean, how many of them will you fight? Wait, I have a check of 90,000 naira here with me, and I want you to give them 80,000. 80,000 naira? Are you out of your mind? But at least they will allow us to graduate in this school. No, I will not let you give them 80,000 naira. It's too much. Tony, we have seen people die. And you know where this one can get? So what about the 10,000 naira on top? What's that for? It's for you. For me? Yeah. What, are you trying to pay me back for whatever good you think I've done for you? No, no, it's, it's a free will. Free will. Hey, Johnny. Oh, uh, just on time. You would have missed me. Missed you? Yeah. How? Are you traveling? Yeah, I'm traveling. I'm going to see my uncle. What about the money you said Stephanie gave you for the quiz? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see, I still need some more money, okay? Like money for my welfare and school runs. But not to worry. I'll be back by weekend. Okay. okay. Let me see after the bus stop. Oh, thanks, mm -hmm. bro. Are you ready to go, Dad? Yes. And what is it? You said you want to tell me. Daddy. I was thinking. Maybe I should go get a polytechnic entrance examination form first thing tomorrow morning before the end sales. Poly what? And for what purpose? Since my score in JAMB is not high enough to get me admission in any of the universities, I'd rather try a polytechnic instead of sitting at home. Will you shut up? Those that attend universities, how many heads do they have? Have you seen any doctor or a lawyer from the polytechnic before? Or you want people to mock at me that my son cannot gain entry into the university? Is that what you want? But daddy, I can't skip If you don't have anything important to tell me, you go in and sleep. Okay? Look at Antony. And the wretched family he come from. I even feed the mother and pay his school fees. But he is in the university. Nonsense. Daddy. Maybe Tony did what he did intentionally. Well, you know that. It is now that you are talking. Tony is being influenced by the mother and some other members of that kindred. Because they are not happy over my progress. Upon all I did for Tony, he could not teach you enough things to make you pass common jump examination. Daddy, he did not want to teach me things that will come out. Rather, he was busy teaching me rubbish. I know of people he has taught in the past. Most of them succeeded and gained admission into various universities. At least I know boys like that, even in that our village. Oh, I did not tell you what the mother and that hopeless Ebuong told me at the village. What did they tell you? Don't worry. Go and get me my keys and my walking stick. 
It's for me and them. Do that, I'll be right back. Uncle, good afternoon, sir. Ah, good afternoon, Tony. What can I do for you? Huh? Uncle, uh, maybe you didn't get my initial question. What are you coming here to do? Uh, Uncle, I just, I just came to visit you and uh, to tell you how I'm getting on with school. Then what makes you think that I'm interested with whatever you do in that school? Tony. Upon all I did for you, this is how you choose to pay me back. Huh? Uncle, I don't understand what you're talking about. Yes, I know you won't understand. Let me tell you, whatever you and your mother with a are planning will not work. Wherever you reach in life, my son Uchenna will surpass you. Do we bet? Uncle, I don't know what you're talking about. Tony, how much did I give you to prepare Uchenna for the jam exams? And you taught him rubbish. Rubbish? You give me 15,000 naira. Right. And then what was your score before you entered the university? I made um, 262. 262. Yet. You had the mind to humiliate my son, Uchenna, by making him score 103. Oh my God. It is not your God. It's your mother and the Gwong. But uncle, I told you beforehand that I am not science inclined. Tony, with the fair front today, I've washed my hands of anything that has to do with your education. And let me warn you, I don't want to see you 500 meters near my house any longer. Uncle, please. Is that clear? Uncle, please. You, you can't do this to me, Uncle. It's nothing really, I, I was just thinking. Tim, don't lie to me. I've been observing you since you came back. You've been quiet. Sometimes you talk to yourself and shake your head. What is it, my son? Remember when um, Uncle Okonko asked me to prepare his son Uchenna for his jump exams? Mm -hmm. Now I am arts inclined. Uche wants to read medicine. You remember, eh? Yes, I remember. The father telling the entire village that his son will be the first doctor the entire village will produce. Now I sounded it clear. 
to Uncle Okonkwo. Letting him know that I know nothing about sciences. He wouldn't listen to me. The date of the exam was close. So he persuaded me and insisted that I go ahead and still do it. Okay. I tried preparing uh, Uchenna for the exam. I read all night. I read all kinds of textbooks and handouts. Put in all my best. At the end of the day, unfortunately, Uchenna failed. Came out with 103. And that's a very poor result. And my best wasn't good enough. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that Uchenna, after all said and done, will not be going to university? He has to wait for another exam. For the fourth time. Hey, where? Hmm. You need to see the sort of noise the father has made that Uchenna will be going to university. But is that why you are feeling bad? Well. I went to Uncle Okonkwo's house before coming here. He walked out on me, told me never to come to his house again. That he's not going to put a penny in my education again, henceforth. Okonkwo said that after the promise he made to your late father. And Mama, right now, I'm at the critical stage in my program in school. I need financial assistance by all means. God, I'm stranded. My son. Mama. I would have suggested you stay till next week. So that I can collect the money Eunice's mother promised me. For the time being, I'll this. Mama, don't worry, okay? Don't worry, keep it for yourself. How would you take care of yourself? Huh? How would you get by? Keep it, okay? What do you mean, keep it? How will you manage in school? Well, I still have some little money that I saved up for situations like this. So, don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Money saved from where? Did they pay you in school? Since you refuse money, let me go and get you some fruits and get No. <laughs> Just in case. I said I'll be alright. Don't bother yourself. I'll be fine. I can manage, honestly. Tony, are you sure? Of course I'm sure. You may need all this. Mama, I said I'll be fine. Tony, have this money. Mama, I have to be rushing to school right now. I have to be in school before 3 p.m. this afternoon, eh? I'll see you soon. Okay?
sure you actually left here with your money, Linda? Of course I did. I was holding it all through in the morning. <laughs> Later I collected my handbag from Melissa and put my small paws in it. <laughs> Maybe you mistakenly gave it to Melissa. I didn't give it to Melissa <laughs> until I came back here. <laughs> hmm. 15,000 Naira. Man, that is a whole sum of money, you know. Maybe we should just go and ask Melissa now. I but said I didn't give it to Melissa. There is no harm in trial. Let's just go and ask Melissa. Let's just go and ask her. Put on your shoes, let's go and ask her. visit. Excuse me. Um, but it's, it's important that I see you. I, I have something for you. Whatever it is, I am not interested. Can't you hear me? Are you daft? Please go. Stop disturbing me, I beg. Please go. But Linda, Linda. I think you're disturbing us. Linda is not in the right mood to talk to you right now. Why don't you go and come back some other time? Excuse us. Linda, let me ask you something. You misplaced some money today, didn't you? I did. Who told you? Yeah, something like this. Oh my God. Where did you find it? I found it in front of um, the Faculty of Environmental Science block. I used the identity card in there to trace you down. Oh, you're such a nice guy to have brought back this morning. We're grateful. Of course. I knew that guy would have kept the money for himself. Hmm. And I was rude to you. Please forgive us. Please. Please. You're sorry, please. I'm very sorry. Well, it's alright. It's alright. It's one of those things. I'm a student myself. And I know what it is like to misplace such kind of money. I mean, if I misplace that kind of money, I won't be happy. So I know. Please. You can come in. Let's offer you something. Please. No, please. no, no. It's alright. No, honestly, I have to be on my way now. Thank you very much. Thank all right, you. Then. Bye. Bye. Expecting you. Does that mean I should go? No, no, of course not. Come, please sit down. Thank you. Sit down. You're welcome. Thank you. I like what you're wearing. It looks good on you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what are you doing here, little? Well, I kind of had a busy day, so I decided to like take a rest. In the meantime, like read a book or two. <laughs> I got something for you on my way here. I never really paid you a visit since the incident. At least, know where you're staying. Oh. Wow. That's so considerate of you. Thank you. Alright. So, how about your uncle and this new place you stay? Oh, fine, fine. I keep wondering the sort of guy you are. Excuse me? You told me you picked 15k that belongs to someone and returned it. Even though she wasn't nice to you initially. Yeah. And again, I remember you complaining of 5,000. Well, you know, I remember I told you that I went home and then I came back all boxed up with cash and everything. And so, when I saw the money, I, you know, I felt pity for the girl. I, I put myself in her shoes and I thought, oh no, it would be unfair if, 
the student, you know, misplaces such kind of money. That's why. I don't believe in nice guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't like guys either. Mm -hmm. But I think I should know you. And uh, I feel indebted to you. Well, you're not. I'm not a nice guy, certainly not. <laughs> things just happen coincidentally. Really? Yeah. So tell me, I'd like to hear about your growing up and all that. Like I said, I'm not a nice guy. <laughs> Come on. Tell me. Tell me about it. If you will have the patience, it will take 12 days. I don't mind. Try me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I believe in love, the true love. Oh, 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 I believe in love. I hope as true many heartbreaks. Just for the sake of one I love, I believe, I believe that girl must be mine. I believe in love, that true love across my heart. To I believe in love, the true love. Oh, 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 I believe in love, the true love across my heart. How am I going to survive this now, eh? How am I going to see myself through this semester with just 250 naira? Yeah, it's coming. Ah, Tony, Tony! Dennis! Man, what's up? Ah, not too much. Tony! Eh? Tony, you're back! And you never bothered to come and take me out of the department. Uh, Dennis, you see, it's not like that. It, it's, it's just that... Don't this. leave that story, leave that story. Yeah. The thing is that you traveled and you're back. Can I have the money I borrowed you? Uh, Dennis, there, there is something I would like to explain to you. Uh, Tony, mm -mm. Tony I, this is what I don't like. There's no need to try to blow my intelligence. Eh? No, 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 Dennis, nobody's playing on your intelligence. Then Dennis. pay me my money. Then pay me my money. I thought of this, and you gave me all assurance that we won't argue over this money. And please, eh? it's just that things are a bit hard for me this time. You try and understand. And you, you know we had an agreement. Was, it was you know we had an agreement. Yes. Yes. Fact, Dennis. Um, Dennis. You must tell me this later. Dennis, this is not fair. Dennis, this is not fair. We have an agreement. Let me tell you later. Let me tell you later. Bye-bye. Dennis. Good day. I didn't see any money. Did you see any money? Mini what? Mini what? What money now? What money are you talking about? The money I took in this order. I said I didn't take any money. Meaning that money develop legs. I don't know what you're talking. I only went there to, to, to take her pan. I what didn't the... see any money. Did you see any money? Yes, sir. I didn't see any money. What is happening here? Chief, this boy is a thief. He's a criminal. The money gave me to send those people. I brought the money to there. Send the accident man to go to the store and get me a file. And he knows where I keep the money. Now he, he, I'm looking for the money. I beg your pardon. Which money is missing? 
that the hundred thousand naira I gave you this morning is missing. Ask this criminal. You know where it is. I've, I've, I've not seen any money, uh, sir. I've not seen any money. I don't know what. Mr. Kubeza, where is my money? Mr. Man, bring the money. Ask Young man, please, if you know where you kept this money, you go and give me the money now. Yes? My friend, what is your name? My name is Tony. So where did you keep my money? Sir, I will deal with you. I swear to God, I didn't take any money. You didn't take any money. I, I didn't take any money. You don't know. You're a criminal. You explain that at the police station. Sir, I'm not a thief. You are not a thief. No, what no. are you? Look, Mr. Kubeze, what, what, what kind of nonsense is this? Chief, Look, if I don't get that money, I'll be forced to hand the two of you over to the police. Chief, Chief please, you know I have been working for you with you for past 20 years. So what I happened have... today? Please, come here to disgrace me. Look, the two of you should give me my money now. Or I'll be forced to hand the two of you over to the police. Yes. So you go and explain to them what you will use my money for. Yes, sir. I've not stolen okay, before Chief. in my okay, life. Okay, you don't want to bring out the money. Okay, yeah? okay no problem. We we'll have to go to the police now. Okay. Oh God, I've never okay. been to the station. You'll be you will go to the police station today. Yes. You will go there today, right, right now. Sir. In the next five minutes, you will be at the police station. Sir. Let's go there. You go to that. Today will be the first day you will go to the station. Whether you like it, you must bring you it. Will you will Let's go. Hey, um, Joshua, I bet. Bring me my shirt. Bring my shirt. Let's go. Please. Okay. Or you give me my money now. Never stole them. Yeah. Okay, let's go. go. Young man, let's go, please. Let's go now. You want me to push you? Criminals. Thieves. Idiots. You think you can fool me? What kind of human beings are this? I don't know yesterday that I was only trying to help animals. Uh, I'm coming back to you. My dear, you're welcome. Thank okay. you. Yeah, how was school today? Oh, fine, fine. Your mommy called earlier in the day. Oh, really? Yeah. Mommy called? Yes. Well, she, she, she called, but they had already gone to school. So she said she was going to call back later in the day. Oh, thank God. I would love to speak with her. <laughs> Uncle, yeah. I heard you grumbling. Is there anything wrong? Don't mind those criminals. Can you imagine the hundred thousand naira I gave to the supervisor this morning? Now he now conspired with another liberal to impress it on me that the, the money has been stolen. Why do people behave this way? Especially trusted ones. Why? Can you imagine? And they are well paid, though. They are all, they are all well paid. But I'm going to teach them a lesson. I will deal with them. They're already in the police cell. Good for them. Uncle, don't let them go. I want the police to torture them very well. You're talking as if you don't know me. Let them go. In fact, I'll come me to the station. Let me see the DPO. Um, have you made your statement? Yes, I have. But um, I don't want them to bribe their way out of that police cell. I don't really trust those, those, those police boys. Okay. Is there anything? I will bring you something. No, nothing. Nothing. Let's just go. I'll go to the car. Exactly. We had the IP took them out from the cell some hours ago. Excuse me? Took them out for what? So they went to outside investigation and searching. They will soon be back. Oh, I see. Here they come, sir. Look at them. Oh, my God. Tell me. Stephanie, oh, do you know this criminal? You know him? Yes, uncle. I see. Can I see the VPO now, please? Just around the monster. We'll soon be back.
please forgive me, please. He was the person that that helped me during the rapist attack on Uncle, please. Stephanie, go and read yours. That boy is a criminal. Uncle, please, I'm begging you. Uncle, please. Do you know that? Do you know that he... Wait a minute. You said he's a student on your campus, right? Yes. So what was he doing at my side as a liberal? That's what I can't tell. Even if he was broke, Stephanie, how much is he going to be paid? Now, Stephanie, you don't seem to understand that that rape rescue was state managed just to get you into his life. That boy is a thief. Uncle, please, I, I don't know. I don't know, Uncle, but please release him for my sake. I'm begging you, please. Will you stop telling me this for my sake, for my sake, thing, for Christ's sake? You're, you're getting me irritated. For heaven's sake, you're talking about a common criminal. Uncle, please, remember that boy stood for me in school with his life. And if people should hear you jailed him, do you know what it means? Then you tell them what he did. Uncle, but he may not have done it. Look, Stephanie, whatever that boy has done for you in school was planned with his gang to deceive you and get you into his life. Do you understand that? Uncle, that boy took a delicate lifestyle that would have cost him his life. Just for my sake. If that was state money just to get me into his life or whatever, then it's worth every bit of it, Uncle. It's worth it, please. I'm begging you. Have mercy on him, Uncle. Please forgive me for my sake. Uncle, please don't do this to me. Please forgive him. Studies. Yes, officer. I think you should just let them go. I will handle them myself. Why don't just leave them with us for some minutes or hours? I think we'll finish with them and can tell us the truth. Uh, that will be necessary, officer. Just let them go. Good day. No, sir. that made you do it. So you believe I stole that money? Tony, forget about the stealing accusations. What I want to know is how you ended up being a laborer when you were supposed to be a law student. Is that a practical joke? I did it for the money. For the money? Yes. Which money? You came back the other day and you told me you were loaded with money. So how come about this? You found my friend 15,000 and you returned it. Tony, please tell me the truth. What is going on? I am not a thief, Stephanie. I don't know. I don't know what to believe or what to think. Oh, Tony, Tony, I'm. Put yourself in my shoes. What shoes? Tony, I I have come to love you. Um I I just want you to 
be the man I knew you to be. So humble, so kind. To think of the accusation is enough to kill my dreams and break my heart. So I've been labeled a thief. What were you doing there? Working as a laborer? My father died. And my mother couldn't afford to pay my school fees. Now I have, I have this very rich uncle and he decided to support, support us financially. And so he did. Then one day he, he made a demand. He said I should prepare his son for the jam exams so the son can get admission into the university. Now this is son is science inclined and I'm arts inclined. I try to make him see this that there are two different causes but he wouldn't listen. He insisted and and then threatened me that that if I don't do it he would he would withdraw his financial assistance. I have no choice. So I went ahead and I studied day and night. I read different handouts, different textbooks. The son went for the exams, but unfortunately, it came out woeful. I don't understand the connection. You see, the connection is that my uncle happens to believe that I did this deliberately to destroy his son's career. So he warned me never to come close to his house, not even as close as 500 meters away. The last time when I told you that I went home and I got some money, I lied. He kicked me out. He withdrew all his financial assistance. So what would I do? I had no choice. I had to fend for myself. And so I went job hunting. That's when I ended up in your uncle's sight as a laborer. I did what I did because I just had to fend for myself in school. I had to feed myself. You know what, I think the world is just mean to me. Tony, I promise you. I promise you I will always be there for you, okay? Whenever you are weak, I'll be strong. I want you to please believe that you can always count on me. Okay? I'm so sorry.
through many hard ways just for the sake of one I love I believe I believe that you must be mine I believe the young man I locked up the other day, the one that is from your school. I haven't seen him for some time now. I really want to see that boy. Uncle, please don't. You want to hand him over to the police again? Oh no. I want to apologize to him. I don't understand. Okay, like I didn't tell you, the supervisor after I released them went and arrested the other workers. And the person who actually took that money has confessed and returned the money. You see, Uncle, but I told you this. I told you he can't do such a thing. I wasn't even surprised myself. Come sit down. Thank you. So, how was your day? Oh, fine, fine. It's good to know. You are reading. Well, yeah, I'm trying to grasp uh, a few <laughs> things. Have this. What's this? What's they are for you, sweetheart. A gift to the man I love. Wow. Wow. I don't believe this. You like it? It's beautiful, all this for me? Yeah. My God. <laughs> How did you get to know about my size? This is so beautiful. I can't believe this. Stephanie. <laughs> oh, oh God. This is lovely. Oh, I know you will like this. This is... Thank Tony. you so much, sweetheart. So oh, God. I don't believe this. Tony, yeah. Take this. I want you to open an account with it. My God, Stephanie, this is kind of much. <laughs> There's some part of it that for my uncle. He said um, I should tell you that he's very sorry for the embarrassment. You already apologized. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, this this is all for me. I don't believe this, God. I don't believe this. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, Come on, tell I me. Thank you so much. I appreciate everything you've done to me. It's okay. 
I appreciate everything you've done for me. Yeah. I believe in love. The truth. <laughs> 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 Absolutely. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Couldn't have done it without you, you know. I know, come on. You are the hero. No. The hero lies in you for me, Stephanie. You know that, don't you? God, I don't know how much I can thank you. I can never thank you enough. I owe you everything. I look forward to telling my story, the story of my life to my children as we written and redesigned by you for the better. Sure. I'm happy you made it to this day. Your mom will be proud of you, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope you will not forget me when you will be called to the bar. Why? Why did you say that? I don't know. I, I still have one more year left in school. While you will be out there on your own at the law school. What's this? What's this? I love you, Stephanie. Will you marry me? <laughs> yes, of course I will.
This is lovely. I will love you forever, Stephanie. We will share our world and live our life together. Nothing, nothing will separate us. I owe that to you, the queen of my heart. This I promise you. Okay? I love you too. You know what? This calls for a celebration. Yeah. The graduation, the engagement and everything, it calls for big celebration. <laughs> Let's go out. Come on. Uh, uh, are you sure I'm okay like this? You look absolutely good for me. Let's go. Okay. Storms of life may come your ways. You may pass through the hard ways. There's one thing. You're very old like you do. <laughs> Coming here without prior notice. Oh, there's no problem. My parents are in the country and I want you to meet them. Are you serious? Yeah. So when did they come into the country? That was last week and my daddy has been demanding to mm. see you. Last week and you're just telling me now? Stephanie, that's not fair. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's no problem. It's just that I didn't want to disturb your exams. Mm. So how was it? Oh, it was fantastic. It was really good. I just finished my last paper this afternoon. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what we're going to do? Mm? You'll spend the night here, okay? Then tomorrow morning we'll go see your parents together. All right. Huh? All right. Good. So have you had anything to eat yet? No, but I wouldn't mind a cup of cold tea. A cup of cold tea right away? Yeah. I hope you have some. Of course I do. Anyway, if you're back inside. Oh. All right. so much about you. As a matter of fact, my wife and I are very impressed about your determination in the face of all odds. I have never loved poverty, and I will never be a part of these celebrations. Excuse me, Miriam. That's so unthoughtful of you. Why are you being so insensitive? Just like you, to insinuate that I am impressed by the image of our poor scheming fraudster taking my daughter to his godforsaken world of abject poverty! Mom! Shut up! You're a blind fool! She's been gone for a pretty long time. She just got back to the country. All right, sir. I'm sorry about the outburst. Please, your food. Thank you, sir. You're not taking mom seriously, darling. Sorry for the embarrassment. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Your dad was right, you know. Change of environment can be nerve-wracking to some people. I believe, though, that um, she'll soon come to terms with a new environment and things, you know. 
Oh, thank you so much for such understanding. I love you. And I love you too. Country. Everything in it is capable of weighing even the strongest man down. Oh, come on, Mom. My mood has nothing to do with the country. It has to do with your rejection of the only man I love. But, Stephanie, I was only motivated by a true concern for the future. That's not true, Mom. You have been propelled by prejudice and now hate. Stephanie, you're just a child. I'm not. I'm a grown-up girl who knows what is good for her. But you are still too emotionally fragile to understand men. They will stop at nothing until they get you and wreck your life. Mom! You see, Mom, I know Tony more than you do. I've been with him for years now. You are just coming into the country for the second time in five years. How many years is unnecessary, my dear? If you don't know, my heart belongs to him and I love him. He's a gold digger. Mom! This guy you call next rich is like seven times the same man! But he could have made up everything just to get you into his vicious trap! Make up what, Mom? Make up what? Tell me! Make up with the rapist? Make up the revenge bitches that kept him in the hospital for five days? Make up what? He's a church rat. He must have monitored you. And perfected his plans with everyone involved. You are wicked. What? Dad, talk to Momo. Also, run away from this house. It's all right, okay? Why have you chosen to be insensitive to your daughter's feelings? Why? Can't you see you're hurting her? Listen, Alex, two of you are my own pick. What did I hear you say? The guy is a gold digger. And I will prove it to you. Day. Tony! <laughs> you are ready to go? Yes. Gearing up to leave. Hey, Mom? What up? Come here, please. Go to my bedroom. Bring that bag beside my bed, okay? Yes, ma'am. Hurry up. Oh, yeah, no, Tony. Did uh, Stephanie tell you she was going to travel with her dad to Abuja? Early this morning? Oh yes, she did. She did, ma'am. I see. Um, I hope you didn't take an offense by my outburst the other day. Not at all, ma'am. <laughs> Everybody has their bad moments. <laughs> well, Stephanie has made me to really understand that you care for her and how much you have suffered in life. 
We thank God, Mom. We're still moving along. It will change today if you're willing. How do you mean? I want to extend such good gestures to you right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, um, inside this bag is the sum of a million naira. It will be yours on one condition. Um, what condition may that be? Tony, Stephanie is not your kind. You two are from different classes. Life with her will be unbearable for you without money. She can never endure poverty. If you see Stephanie, her real self, under such condition, I think you will live the rest of your life in regret. So, take this money and give your life a meaning. You mean, um... Yes. Take it and forget about her. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mom. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, Mom. Yes? Sorry. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Um, do you believe that God is a giver of children? Yes, I do. Secondly, um, do you love Stephanie? I love her very much. And then one, one last question. If God gave you 20 million naira, in place of Stephanie, would you accept? Of course not. God wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> so you see, as much as Stephanie means this life to you, she means the whole world to me. I'm sorry, I can't take this. What? Take this money and give your life a meaning. No, madam. Money is not everything. See, what's between Stephanie and I is more than any material thing. I... I hope no, you know what you're rejecting, young man. Oh yes, I do, mom. More than you know. I do. And I'll reject a million times that much. And if this is your idea of good gesture, then it's not worth the name at all. You're a fool, young man. Oh yes, and I'm proud to be one. Because of your daughter. Goodbye, mom. Take this bag back into my room. I was just thinking maybe I should um, go and stay with our cousins in uh, Port Harcourt while I await my um, law school result. What do you think? That won't be a bad idea. When do you intend to go? Well, not so soon yet. I want to spend some time with you before going. Maybe um, two weeks? That's better. Well, when would this food be ready now? I'm starving now. What about? Hey, uh, okay for what is it? Okay, tell me. One post man so give you this. Okay, thank you, Okafo. Huh? Dear Tony, I know you will call me names when you finish reading this letter. Please understand that I have the best of intentions in mind in doing this. 
God knows I mean good for you. Since the day you left my house, I have not known peace. My mom has been hell-bent on separating us. Just last week, she succeeded in getting my dad over to her side. They have written to the police command and the SSS, and I have two secret service men and three policemen monitoring me everywhere I go now. They have a clear mandate to kill you if they see you near me and to confiscate any of your letters coming to me from you. My dad allowed me to write this letter because of the message it contains. He is also magnanimous enough to make this check in your favor. It's a check of one million. Take it. I'm not paying you off. I'm just trying to make things easier for you. Try to forget me. It will be better for me to see you in another woman's hand than see you dead, killed on the orders of my own parents. I'll be getting out of the country after my next birthday in a month's time. See you in my dreams. I'm sorry for everything. My regards to your mom. She's such a, a nice woman. Bye for now. Love, Stephanie Ugochugu. What is it? Jesus. Tony! Did you fall in the law school? Tony! Pull yourself together, Tony! Tony! In a month's time, mm. but I'll celebrate my birthday before going back. Oh, that reminds me, your birthday is just oh, the yeah, you have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> so tell daddy, what plans do you have for your birthday? Um, not yet, daddy. I think I'll meet Tony so that both of us can plan it together. It's always Tony, Tony. Oh, come Tony. on, daddy. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all good. Um, when you met and concluded um, with your plans, just let me know. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Anything for you, my dear. Anything. Mm -hmm. right. Well, I'll be first with that. I'll be right there. I'll write down the list and... Okay, let me have a good afternoon. Auntie, a postman just brought this thing for you. Thank for my birthday. <laughs> I hope it's good news. <laughs> Disgusting. That's the only word I can use to describe what happened in your house the other day. If I knew stronger words, I would have used them. By the way, what other words can you use when you discover that you have mingled with cannibals in disguise of humans? A man can be poor and wretched, but misfortunes of fate cannot make him a nobody. When a man loses his dignity, he loses his manhood. You and your parents can go to hell with your money. My pride cannot be so wantonly pricked by the mother of a girl who claims to love me and I will continue to stay in love with her. How do I know that she will not instigate you one day to kick me out of your life? I won't wait till then. So, I have decided to call it quits with you before it's too late. Thank God one of my distant cousins just came back and decided to take me to Lagos. I will follow him to Lagos tomorrow. And I have equally instructed my mother to check every letter that comes to me and to burn it if it is yours. So don't even bother writing me. You can call me names after reading this letter if you like. I typed it so that you and your people will not harm me through my letter. Your people could be diabolical, I was told. Bye, Tony. What is it? Oh my god! How could... Stephanie! Stephanie! Alex! What is it? I don't know.
Alex! If anything happens to my daughter, you and that son of a bitch will see the other side of me. It's just that... It's just that what? That my only hope is keeping out of my fingers. Tony, please my son, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me! Why should I be celebrating? Huh? For what? When the girl that played a major part of my success is not only miles away from my life, but out of it completely. Why should I celebrate? Please my son, please. Mercy on me and yourself. Please. Come out of this trance. Please. I'm sorry, Mama. I'm trying, but. Go to sleep and forget about Stephanie. She will soon be alright. Go to sleep? Yes. How do you expect me to sleep and sleep well? That girl is suffering. She's in deep pain. I can feel it right in my bones. Miriam? Yes. You know she's all I have. She's everything to me. But honey, will your staying awake make us see things from our point of view? And forget about that bastard. Time will heal her wound. Too, honey. Come on, go to sleep, okay? Go to sleep. All right, come on, come on, come on. Sleep, sleep. I need to talk with her. Yeah. Honey, now please listen to me. Honey, listen, come on. No, I really have to talk with her. Honey, please, wait, wait, let me, listen, let me, honey.
I'm reading the sweet chronicle of my life before the way wing called my mom came and blew everything apart. It's alright, okay? It's alright. Hmm? I want to talk to you. Please don't, Daddy. It will not do me any good. I'd rather you talk to Mom. You know daddy loves you. And I love you too, daddy. But please go and talk to mommy. She's the designer of the bomb that blasted my life into pieces. I understand. I know how you feel. But all the same. Come. Come, come, let's go. Please, daddy. No, I'll do everything to protect you. Please come. Come on. Tony, how long will you continue to suffer like this? You are looking so lost. For as long as my life's compass is gone. My son, I understand how you felt. But I want to assure you, you will not lose her if she's for you. How do you mean, Mama? That girl is too good to do a thing like that. All she needs from you now is you, the assurance of your love. But how will I do that with all the bodyguards around her? Have you tried writing her? That won't be necessary, Mama. She was explicit. She said the letters will not reach her, but they will seize it before it gets to her. Tony, that reminds me. You told me that her birthday is around the corner. Yes. All you have to do is to look for something she will treasure. Fold it with a letter. Wrap it as a birthday gift. And send to her. Yes, but, but those secret agents, they will not they will open the parcel before it gets to her now. And they will see the content and seize it. Then you look for somebody else, use his name and send it to her. Oh, how come I didn't think of that? Oh my God. That's a brilliant idea. Ah, Mama, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And you know what? She likes artworks. She likes them a lot. So you would, I will get my artist friend to make a portrait of her. And I'll wrap it and send it to her as a gift. As long as you are happy, I'm happy. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> Steph, 
Daphne. This is quite unlike you. Listen, I understand the way you feel. But for God's sake, today is your birthday. I would rather say today is lost in the calendar. I mean, what is this there to celebrate without any What? Your life and the hope of a better tomorrow. My God, you can still pick the pieces someday. <laughs> to me, life is meaningless without him. And there is no tomorrow, okay? Stephen, don't say that. I never knew you as a pessimist. Look, Nkechi. Even if I pick the pieces, as you say, Tony is the glue that will glue them back. Can't you understand? My life is shut out without him. Stephanie, I have an idea. What idea? After today, I'll go to Tony's village. I'm sure I'll be able to trace him and find out what is wrong. And? At least I can arrange for a meeting on a neutral ground. Then we can talk this over. And you get one man with the party. So I make I give you this thing. Where? For gate. Can go. Dear Stephanie, I actually got your letter and understood the content. I equally understood the pressure you're going through. In the beginning of our relationship, I remember you once told me that true love should not be equated to beautiful flowers. Because flowers fade away with time. You said it should be equated to a river because a river flows forever. So, I cannot understand how to forget you as you insist that I do in your letter. God, Stephanie, how am I supposed to forget you? No, I can't. Even if I take a narcotic drug to dry me of all feelings, I don't think it will dry me of the feeling of you. If I lay dead and your name were whispered in the long green grass above my grave, it will reach me. I swear, Stephanie, it will reach me. You can afford to see me in another woman's hands, but have you asked yourself if I can bring myself into the hands of another woman? To you and only you have I sworn to love and there is no going back. I would rather leave the rest of my life a celibate than have another woman in my life besides you. I will stand firm by you like the Northern Star. My patience and faith in you will never waver till the storm is over. This is the check you wrote me in my favor. I'm sorry I cannot cash it, as in doing so is like selling a vital part of me. Tell your father as much. Thanks for your love. Lovingly yours, Tony. Mother. What? You see what 
what you have turned your daughter into? No, it is what you turned her into. What you have turned her into? Mama, you turned her into what you have turned her into. See what I will do to your daughter? How can you? But you're so good your daughter. Huh? Daddy, what am I going to do now? Good evening, ma. There is nothing good about the evening, young lady. What do you want here? Mama, please, I will explain everything. Please. Explain what? Explain that you want to kill my son simply because he's in love with you. Mama, it's not what you think. I will explain everything that happened. Please. Mama, please, I will explain to you. Where is Tony? Tony is inside there. Thank you. Miss Stephanie. 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 I I was just dreaming about you like I always do a thousand times a day. Is it really you? Are you, are you back? Yes. I'm never to leave you again. Stephanie. Oh. It's you. Yeah. Oh God, it's you. It's you. It's me. My God, it's you, it's you. you. You're back. Oh, God. So, what, what, what happened? Yeah. I'll explain to you and your mom together, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go inside then. the law auditorium earlier today he sat calmly you know and I kept on wondering what was going on in his mind now I know what was going on in his mind like the biblical uh, St. Paul he said I have fought the battle. I 
have won the race to the end. Now, I await my crown of glory. So, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Paris to turn your crown. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I appreciate your being here. I really, really do. It's good to have you all here, I must say. It's not easy. All my loved ones and friends. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. you, Dennis, I know you. This guy's a criminal. I was owing him money in school and he actually seized my trousers and shirt. I was like, that guy friend now. But today we're still best of friends. I just want to thank you all for being here. It's not, it's not easy. It's not been easy for me, I must say. Like Chiyori just said to you all, I fought the battle and I've won. And now, I await my crown. And I must say, that fighting that battle was not easy. I had to do it with someone. Someone who's so special to me. A woman of great substance. A woman of kindness and and generosity. A woman with love and absolute gentility. I'd like you all to welcome Stephanie Ugochuku, please. Hello. Hello. Hi. That's a woman after my heart. She's the one that made it possible for me to be where I am today. Thank you, babe. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Barrister Tony. Please holla a trap for Barrister Tony and Miss Stephanie. Indirectly, I'll tell us to open the dance floor, huh? Yeah. Mm. This is really good. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know nothing as could cook stew this good. I thought they were only good with Toshi and Kafas so, uh, and the rest of them. It cooks very well here. Yeah. It cooks very well. Stephanie. I really missed you. I missed you so much. You don't know how much I longed for this trip down to the north to come and see you. It was really hard and difficult for me in Port Harcourt without you. I missed you terribly too. You came at the right time. Tony, I was almost breaking down. What's the problem? My boss. The man is harassing me. What happened last week was scary. What happened? In the office. Thank you. And you? I wish I could say the same. Certainly, you look like an angel, but you lack the angelic heart. That's not a compliment, Alaji. Yes, because I'm going crazy battling with your rejection. Let me ask you, Stephanie, don't you have at least a little space in your heart for me? Please, Alaji, you have to accept my decision on this, or I'll leave the office for you. Hmm. I wish all the best. I wish you all the best in life. But you see, I cannot let you go. Then forget about going out with me, because it will work. I, I, I just wish I can forget about 
that. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. You stop me! You stop me! I will show you! I will you! Now get out! Get out of my office! I will put on my shit! Get out! I will show you the other side of power! Can you imagine? I will put on my shit! Get out! 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 Getting on my nerves. When did this start? That was four months ago. Four months? Yeah, and he's still threatening. Don't worry, okay? He can't do you anything. He wouldn't even touch the hair on your head. Do you understand me? I'll go talk to him personally. Eh? No, 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 please, please. Uh, what are you trying to say? My boss? Yeah. Oh, come on, Tony. Please Listen, if you don't me. dialogue with Tony, him, he'll continue to disturb you. Uh, please, please, just, just leave it like that. In other words, you're telling me you can handle the situation? I'll see what I can do. Just laws. With that, she will accept my advances to save their head. Alaji, you're a genius. <laughs> Consider it done. Thank you, officer. I will send my boys to help you out. No, officer. It's all right. Consider it done. Okay. I'm Aji.
as Father said, of one our Lord, I believe I believe. Thank you, most in my I believe. angry for what happened the other day? For God's sake, Alaji, what do you want from me? Come on, Stanley. Look, I love you so much. Why don't you cool down so that I can, I can take care of you? Hmm. I can see none of your wives look better than I do. Besides, I don't need anything from you, Alaji. I don't need anything from you. And if you don't mind, can I go back to my office? I'm very busy. I can see that you are a very stubborn person. And I will teach you a lesson. There is nothing you can do to me. Well, Miss Stephanie Ibotuku, I am sure this will interest you. is yours. Or the Alkali will make you and your so-called fancy to understand that this is a Muslim state. And things like this are not allowed. Good day. Well, to hell with you and your so-called Alkali.
I think, sweetheart. Yeah. I think you should go back to Porter Court. Batman is very wicked and he will stop and nothing to victimize you because of me. Because of you, you said. Well, I'm ready. Let him do his worst. Baby, I don't want anything to happen to you. Nothing will happen to me, Stephanie, okay? Besides, whatever would happen, let it happen now that I'm still here. Okay? Well, if you say so. Yeah, I say so. I want to go and see the commissioner of police. He called to say that um, his son is sick, so I want to go and treat him. That's all right. Do you mind if I come with you? <laughs> I don't mind. Yes, come in. How may we help you? You're under arrest. You're contravening the religious laws of the state. What's the meaning of this? You may elect to remain silent. For anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, I don't understand. What have we done? You will know when we get to the station. Officer? Take them away. Tony. No, that's okay. Let's just go. Let's go. This will be the law. Can't you see that you don't have any other choice than to allow me to take a go on you? <laughs> For my dead body! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. You have been very foolish. That is the only thing that can save you and your fiance. Otherwise, you will stay here for another 10 days. Alahaji, you are the bigger fool! If you think I will allow myself to be used like that, what I'm saying, I see. 
say, Kai, <laughs> you will see that you are very wrong. I must do it today. You can only butter my body the way you always do. But to let you have your way over my dead body, over my dead body, Lord okay, Jesus. You see. <laughs> <laughs> you see today. <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, good. Take me to him. Where is he inside? In the side room. Sir. I said where? Right? Inside the room, inside the room. Yes, sir. Move! Yes, sir. Move! Yes, sir. Detention was a caricature of justice. We were detained for 10 consecutive days without trial. My fiance, Miss Ugochuku, here was detained in the very bedroom of the accused, Al Haji Danladi, and I in a solitary cell like a common criminal. Ada! I assaulted the constable in my cell, but under my circumstance, I had no other choice. It might interest the court that based on personal grounds, I have settled with this constable and he has forgiven me. Objection, my lord. Such personal arrangements cannot be used to justify a heinous crime of the sort. Objection overruled. Mr. Kara for continuing. Thank you, my lord. At this moment, I will call in evidence PW1, one of Alaji Danladi's boys, who happens to be a direct participant in this crime. Madam Nawal, oh, please step forward. Objection, my lord. If this man is one of the culprits, as I said, why is he not in the dock? Inspector, my lord. why was this man not charged? My lord, he has a special arrangement with the state to testify. Objection, my lord. 
all these marks of blackmail on my client, as this man's name has never come up in this case before. Objection, my lord. The state has a prerogative of mercy. And as a lawyer, I have the right to protect the identity of my star witness. Objection sustained. Continue, Mr. Karafu. Thank you, my lord. Now, Malam Lawal. Sir. Do you know the accused, Alaji Danladi? I know for a lie. At the standard for the sir. Good. Now, would you please tell this honorable court all you know and your role in the events that led to this case? One like a lie, I will talk for truth one lie. You get to flee, 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 Objection sustained. Malam, will you answer the question? Alhaji, 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 keep watching the whole number of facts. Objection, my lord. Allow me the privilege to please tell this man here where he is, because from his utterances and conduct, he doesn't seem to know. Alhaji, Alhaji, this is not a religious court. In one of those theocratic states, in the Persian Gulf of the Vatican Rome, this is a constitutionally established court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that is where you are. Good. Now, Malam Lawal, proceed. Oh my Lord, it is my contention that such moral perversiveness should be severely punished and people like my learned colleague deterred from hiding under the protection of courts and law to blaspheme the name of Almighty Allah, the giver and sustainer of life. I rest my case. Blasphemy. Blasphemy. So my learned colleague here referred to my actions and utterances in defense of Miss Ugo's and my human rights. Blasphemy. I couldn't disagree with her more. I leave it to the discretion of this court to determine between me and my learned colleague's client here, who is blaspheming? Is it I that came all the way from Pataka to propose marriage to my fiance, Miss Ugochuku, and had one of our most beautiful and happiest moments turn into our worst nightmare? Or is it Al Haji Daladi who connives with officers of the law to commit such grave human rights violation? We were arrested and detained for 10 days without trial under religious protest. In a bid to have carnal knowledge of Miss Ugo Chuku here, Al Haji Dalari turned his own bedroom into a cell where he battered, beat her up into a pulp in a bid to rape her. Where is the blasphemy? She spent 10 days in the hospital trying to recover from the physical and psychological wounds he inflicted upon her. 
as the pictures and the clothes I tendered in evidence shows. As the inspector told this honorable court, the ring in which I gave Mr. Gochuku to propose marriage was found under the bed of Alaji Dalnadi. All these were done in a bid to protect, as they claim, a religious injunction. All the photographs they tendered in evidence against us only showed us holding and kissing each other with our full clothes on. My Lord, I've read several books of Islam, Christianity, and other religion. In none of them have I seen any sentence forbidding a man proposing marriage to a woman or the act of kissing. And even if you were wrong under any law, does this justify the use of Aladdin and Ladi's bedroom as a detention cell for the sole purpose of servicing his animal sexual libido? My Lord, it is my contention that men such as Alaji Dunladi should not be allowed to hide under any fictitious religious injunctions to perpetrate much vicious injustice on fellow citizens. Otherwise, the holy name of Allah will lose its essence in our lives and such crimes will unfortunately be sustained. And as it is now, we do not know who the next victim will be. I therefore pray this court to grant us our claims and punish the culprit accordingly. Religious laws should not be allowed to surpass municipal laws in secular states like Nigeria. I rest my case. Love, marriage and its proposal are concepts ordained by God. God cannot, in the opinion of this court, give any law forbidding what he initiated. However, how people do it is a matter of choice and their culture. Crime against love and marriage cannot, therefore, be justified under any religious law. This court is convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that the accused persons committed the crime as charged. Mr. Karafo and Ms. Ugochuku were badly and unjustly treated. I therefore grant them compensation to the tune of 1.5 million naira. A large Danladi shall pay the sum of 1 million naira of this and the Nigerian police shall pay the balance from the gratuity of the policeman who is involved in this crime. In addition, a large gun lady is hereby sentenced to 10 years imprisonment without option of a fine. The second accused person is hereby sentenced to 7 years imprisonment without option of a fine. This will serve as a deterrent to all those who hide under the dubious pretext to perpetrate criminal acts, including their law enforcement personnel collaborators, that the law is only ready to deal with them decisively. This is the verdict of the court. As the
Believe 